Hello guys and welcome to my channel. So this is the KTN 2023, the 300 version. So this one is the latest from the T TPI versions because the next year they are going to change the injection system. They are going to move the injectors from the cylinder to the throttle body. So because that the frame is orange because that means this is the latest model in this series so the bike is brand new so you see almost no riding so yeah i did change some parts today and before riding so i'm going to show you the parts what i changed on the bike so i want to start from the front so in the front i have removed the front wheel regrease the bearings and install the front disc protection which is very nice because it's going to protect the disc also it's going to protect the rear caliper with this piece so that was really good protection for the front also the tire was on the two bars so please when you get brand new bike you need to check the tires so i released some air on the now is 0.7 bars which I think that is perfect for me. So let's go to the handlebar. So on the handlebar, I changed the, yeah, the levers. I have put the flexible levers, so nothing special. Also, I have used like glue for the bolts, for the clamps. So the clamps are uh, like uh, movable on the bigger heats. So sorry guys, it's hard to record and talk. So yeah, so I also removed some like switches from the handlebar, what is going just for the irrigation and homologation, so I don't need that. Also with the bike, I didn't get the protection, yeah, like pad for the handlebar. The small one, I didn't get anything. So I don't know, is that mistake from the KTM or the dealer? Or for this year, the protection is not coming with the bike. So I had this old one for the SX model. Yeah, also the forks are coming like this from the dealer. So I did add some like extra protection. I added one hose, I cut it and added on the side to engine. So if something get like heated here, it's going to be really harder to damage the hose. And the KTM, this model is known for this hose to breaking because it's touching this bolt from the side cover. So yeah, I think I'm going to order like new hosing what is going to eliminate the thermostat. So I'm going to remove everything and install just new hoses without the thermostat. So yeah, the pipe is looking yeah crazy. I think when you dent it, it's not possible easy to repair it because of these ribs, so that. Also, I installed the skid plate, skid plate from a service. Also, the 13 sprockets, it was 14. Yeah, I adjusted the chain. Also, in the rear tire, I have like new system, the tubeless. So inside now is the tubeless, I removed the tube. Yeah. From another side, I have installed the rear disc guard. So this one is really good because it's full kit and it removes the old one piece. So this disc protection is holding the also caliper and it's super strong. Brand new. So yeah, on the side, I have installed the old one outside the racing protection for the clutch side which is nice working excellent with combination with a service skid plate so with this i think this bike is bulletproof for the rocks also i have installed the new yeah the new design of the ventilator fan so yeah i had one also spare use it but for this bike is excellent because it's the original one so yeah, the bike is looking fresh, ready to ride. Also regreased the front and rear wheels. So yeah, I think this bike is going to be excellent. 
I didn't want it to wait uh, for the latest model 2024 with a yeah, new injection, the throttle body injection, because I think everything what is new, it can make some problems. Yeah, so let's start the bike and let's go, sound it. Also, by the way, I did check the coolant, the oil level, everything is okay. So, the bike is ready for ride. I can't wait to test the suspension. I think the for this year, they updated the springs rate. So, I think the front now is harder than the previous years. So, for next modifications, like I told, I will get hoses. Maybe this piece for the fuel from like aluminum, not from, this is from plastic, so it's easy to break. Also maybe the TPS sensor from aluminum. Maybe getting the different like foot pegs, the lower one and the back one. But that foot pegs also change the bike how it's doing. So you need to play with the suspension and it's really changing the bike and the bike is really different behaving. So make sure about that you're going to get different bike. So yeah, what to talk more. So I'm going to ride the bike, then I'm going to check the bolts. So if the anything is like loose, having any problems. So after uh, yeah maybe 10 hours, I'm going to remove the swing arm and also regrease it. Also maybe I'm going to remove the triple clamps also to regrease it because I want to put really ton hours this season on the bike and in middle of season I don't want to work on the bike. I'm I'm wanting to to be the bike for ready for ride and race. Also, I think I'm going to replace this plastic yeah, front and having like protection for the radiators from X grip, which are made from aluminium. So yeah guys, I hope you're going to really like this video also if you want to like make more videos about this ktm 2023 for you i'm going to be really happy to make it also if you want to make also if you need any reviews any yeah anything i'm going to be really happy to make for you in the next video